Good morning, welcome to Living Local Carolina. Today we have a very special event going on, the Hadlin White Subaru 2021 Puppy Classic. So I'm joined by News 13 Sports Director Chris Parks. Good morning, Randy, good to be here. Good morning. So Chris, both of these teams have met during the regular season. What can we expect to see? Well, Randy, both of these teams are division rivals and have high powered offenses. I would expect a lot of scoring and quite a lot of barking. I think you're right. Well, let's head on over to Hadwin White Subaru for the keys to the game. So here's the keys to the game and here's the game ball. But seriously guys, here at Hadwin White, we're passionate about puppies and all animals. As a part of the Subaru Love Promise, we want to be a team player in the effort to find forever homes for all of the animals at All for Paul's. For the month of February, if you mention the Puppy Classic while adopting a puppy or any animal from All for Paul's, Hadwin White will contribute $75 towards your adoption cost. We hope you join us in helping out either by donating cash or pet food to All for Paul's because we consider giving back to be the real key to the game. Back to you, Chris and Rainey. Thanks, Chase. We are kicking off the Puppy Classic. We've got our blue team and our black team. I tell you what, both these teams pretty evenly matched coming into this game here. Kind of a toss up in terms of who could win this. Oh, look, Rainy, it looks like one of the dogs in midfield just got the ball, the 50, and he is running towards oh, the end close. zone. Oh, and I think we've got a touchdown. He crossed the goal line. And we're going to head over to the good dog blimp for a replay of that touchdown. The pups lining up for the field goal. That one up and just a bit short of the goalpost. Just flung that ball right at that goalpost. Look at this little guy running towards us. He looks lost. <laughs> we need some direction from the coaches right now. Right now, it kind of seems like the teams are a little disorganized. Yeah, a little disorganization on both sides. Maybe some nerves here in the first half on both sides. I mean, Blue took control early on, and now it just kind of seems like both teams are just kind of out of whack. Maybe the crowd's kind of psyching them out. Yeah, there's a lot of toys on the field right now. You know, everybody's kind of doing their own thing. I think we need some better teamwork. Absolutely. Right now, both sides seem a little disheveled, and I think there's going to be a penalty coming up here soon. Things get a little rough here towards midfield. Illegal removing of bandana. Offense, 10-yard penalty. Repeat, third down. So there's the penalty, 10 yards there, and they're going to have to kind of go back to the drawing board here. That may cost them coming down uh, the line here later in the first half. Yeah, and we have some equipment destruction on the goalpost over there. Yeah, it looks like one of the goalposts, oh, it just got moved too, and there's a boy near that 20 or 30 yard line. One of those pups just kind of rolled over a little bit too. Wow, good defense. Yeah, absolutely. The black team there with great defense right around the midfield stripe there. And again, things aggressive here in this first half. And I think we're going to see another penalty. Four dogs over near the, the fans. Unsportsmanlike barking. Defense. Penalty declined. First down. Back to game action here. I tell you what, Rainy, there's a lot more equipment and things on the field than we saw to kick off this first half. I'm seeing six or seven toys now. We just can't have that much. You know, with puppies, you've got to have some form of incentive to get the ball where it needs to go. Yeah, they've got to have some kind of treats, maybe a dispenser at some point here, because right now there's just a lot of, a lot of undisciplined pups right now as they try to sort things out. Just a lot of toys on the field, too. This could, uh, could get dangerous later on. Absolutely. You know, the ranking of these pups, you know, the teams, they both kind of started out weak this season. So I think we have an idea why. Yeah, absolutely. We saw a lot of this early on in the, the first half of their seasons where things would kind of get disheveled and messy like this. And you'd think by the time we got to the Puppy Classic, they would clean things up. Unfortunately, that hasn't been the case here in the first half. There are toys everywhere. And we just switched over to the Good Dog Blimp camera to see all the action. It looks like things are starting to get a little bit more cleaned up now here as they continue to run around our beautiful News 13 puppy field. Most of these puppies have recently been adopted, but All for Paws has puppies and kittens looking for good homes all the time. If anyone can get both sides to stop for one minute, I'm sure these referees would ask to see a replay. One team has to want it more. Again, oh, there's a pink toy at midfield. A little bit of a ripping match between those two, but it looks like ah, the one the black team got ended up getting it back right around the midfield stripe. That pink toy is the game favorite for sure. Well, that's the end of the first half. We'll return with a halftime show with Patsy Kelly right after this break.